It's time for Scallop Head. So we got this radio woman catching us up on Martell and the continued Chitete. And the fact that now their business is in the street. So we got Scallop Head doing a pregnancy photo shoot in an I Wanna Be Beyonce wig. <laughs> At least Melody said, you know what, I'ma clap it up for everybody who said I wasn't gonna leave his ass cause you was right. So Martell is tired of answering questions about his own infidelity. I mean, we want it from the horse's mouth. You were there, cheating on your wife. I don't believe the huzzy's real. I think they all cooked this crap up for the show. After all, this is Carlos King. Lord. So Martell worked his way back in by checking in with Scallop Head every 10 minutes on FaceTime. What kind of a marriage is that? If I gotta worry where the fuck you, I ain't got time to herd cats or babysit adults. Oh, Lord. Girl, I do not want no let me smell your dick ass marriage. Okay, we got Scallop Head with her brother. And he gonna tell Martell not to cheat again when he's had a whole two year relationship with the side heifer. Big bro, you need to get you some big business in mind it. He gives me a Marcus T. John phone. Oh Lord, so now she gotta reach out to her pappy for this baby shower. It's your eighth baby. Looks like bull for the show to me. So now Sidaric comes by and they got on matching flannel. They gonna get the baby room together. So Sidaric says, well, uh, your ex half is lashing back for that peasant comment. Martel don't care because she is a peasant. She's a secondary strumpet. She's probably his third string tramp. Yesterday's yam. He don't give a shit. He don't give a shit about his wife. Oh, God, so Sadaric know the heifer, of course. Please, you probably introduced him. Okay, production attempted to contact the woman in question, but didn't get a response before the first broadcast of this episode. Mmm. Okay, so now Melody's got to have her dream team planning her shitty little shower. Oh, Lord, they gonna let social media choose a name for the baby. You see, you too thirsty for reality fame if you gonna let somebody that you don't know name your baby. Oh my goodness, just call it baby plotline and keep it real. So Scallop had on the phone with Kim and Kim had gonna try to get Tisha and Marceau invited to the shit. You know they ain't welcome. She said, I don't want no pop-ups by no other Scots after the last tweets they were promoting about me. And then coming for my mama? Uh-uh. Oh, she said Mama Wanda too. Is persona non grata. Okay, now we got Martel going to therapy, but we don't have a fuck. He gives me a male on tea. Chow, so the therapist helping him work through his daddy issues at damn near 50. All right, so we got Kimmy at the shower. Oh, God, a horse and carriage is bringing them in. I swear she's running for Phaedra Parks. The royal family has arrived, please. The royal pests. So we find out that Melody's friend Destiny is preggers. So Kimmy says, where are the Scots? Kimmy, she told you ass they wasn't coming. So Mel says, I got an apology from Tisha, but I thought it was bull. Cause she bull, she phony, and she two-faced it. Mel is done with Tisha and she gonna get her friend on the show. Cause she that kind of girl, she like, I'll fuck up your income. So now the new girl Destiny wants to have a word with Kimmy. So these are some strays from last season, and she was upset that Kimmy basically said, y'all are some strays. I hadn't heard the name. The chicken was good, but that's all I know about them. I mean, y'all ain't nobody to know. See, you're on your Phaedra part trying to know Nene. Oh, God. Oh, Kimmy. What do you have on in the confessional? Ooh, this pleather nightmare. What the fuck? They keep saying Melody Special Delivery. However, it just says regular old ass love and marriage Huntsville. I'm sorry, you think you Porsche? Girl, child, your pappy ain't show up because you didn't pay him. Other obligation, my ass. He said, look, I ain't filming for free. Fuck it. Okay, so Mars, now we got Martel talking to Maurice about the nasty shit he said to Martell about Tisha having a mommy makeover and he's still not satisfied. Well, the truth is, Marceau is so ugly, he's the one who needs plastic surgery. Walking around here looking like a statue. He got one of them Scotty Pippin faces, mm-mm. So now Martell's mad at Maurice that he's interjecting on Marceau's behalf. Martell said, I wanna keep my friends and the stuff that's worth fighting for. 
I mean, girl, I guess. Martel, you really gonna say you ain't messy? I've seen pig styes cleaner than you. And Maurice broke it down. If he hadn't cheated on Melody, then they wouldn't have their drama and she wouldn't have drama with the rest of the group because of Martel's poop. So now Melody and Martel is bonding because both they pappies ain't shit. Okay, so now Martel gonna get checked by Scallop Head's brother while he out getting her a push present. The brother said, you should get her an unbreakable ring. He said, I came here with the $9.99 to get her this tennis bracelet, and that's what she gonna get. Ring my ass. So Martel is giving the brother the song and dance about his new leaf. But it won't be long before he's got some new puss. Oh, God, now the brother's psychoanalyzing him, saying it's, cause you're, it's because of your pappy issues. No, it's because he ain't shit. A whole bunch of people have asshole parents, and they fine. So Martel is trying to dance around the issue and the brother's pressing him on the lion and the cheat. And he's like, I don't really feel like revisiting this. But hey, it's your dead horse, so don't be surprised when other people beat him. Wait a minute, why, now we got Kimmy and Martel, but why Kimmy taking up for the side piece saying she feel bad for her? Now Kimmy whining about Destiny saying that she didn't know her. So yeah, the Holts are pushing Destiny hard and trashing Tisha harder. So Martel gives Melody her push gift, and you could tell they was just playing that they was mad at each other last season. Cause now they all kissy, kissy, huggy, huggy up in each other's facey, facey. Makes me barfy, barfy. Chow, for better or for worse, he had an affair on your ass for two years. He was totally checked out of the marriage for better or for worse. That's beyond worse, that's terrible. Chow, we do not need to follow her to the damn hospital. Child, Carlos King just stole Portia's baby special and slapped it over here. Mm. So now that they've bored us with the baby, it's time to sell products. And we have the launch of Scallop Head Skincare Line. Martel whining about he ain't making no money, and we ain't surprised. So now we're at the launch. And now Kimmy pop up, but she ain't happy to look up in Destiny face. And in walks an uninvited dish. So Tish ran over to Kim, and Kimmy happy to see her, but shocked shitless. So Tisha gone say, well, I'm developing personally and professionally, so I decided to show up and support. No, you decided to be a nosy heifer. So, of course, Mel go to get security just like Kenya. See, this is all, these are old, these are old Carlos Queen tricks. Well, let's go on and get to episode three, since episode two really wasn't shit. That was a waste of our time. So Tish tells Kimmy, well, I'm getting put out. So now we got Kimmy trying to mediate. No, I can't believe she'd do that. Uh, she shouldn't have shown her ass up. Tisha's saying she want to talk one woman to woman and wanted to surprise her. Mel said, this ain't no good surprise. And Mel said, okay, but not at my event. And that's the thing, if you really want to hash shit out, that's not the time or the place. It's inappropriate. So Marceau has filed a re police report against Martel. Oh, because of a threat? What a wimp. Oh, and Martel is blocked from Tisha's phone for sending rude texts. Oh, Melody said, Tisha, shush, get her. And I'm sorry, but you can go on and shush because her ass wasn't invited. So shh and get out. So Tisha fussing and fuming while they putting her ass out and Kimmy just walking with her embarrassed. So Tisha's done. She's not showing up no more. If you want to see her call and invite her, she's done. Girl, you still saying call and invite me after that treatment? And that's the thing, dear, you weren't called or invited. <laughs> Melody said she brought me the gift of attitude, so I gave her the gift of excursion. So Tish calls her ugly husband from the car and says she's heading on home after the toss out. Marceau is asking her, why do you keep begging for this half of friendship? And she's like, I'm not, I'm just trying to be the bigger person. No, you're trying to keep some shit started. Cause she really don't fuck with you, just stop fucking with her. Maurice wants Kimmy to give up nursing and do real estate full time. But he finally got his son living with him. Maurice is cracking up at the story of Tisha's toss out. So now we've got a project that Tisha and her ugly husband are working on, some mini mall shit. Oh Lord, Tisha's gonna speak at women's empowerment. I mean, that's like trying to get a triple A battery to do a D battery's job. Oh, Lord, now, of course, Marceau is whining. Oh, I've got to cook dinner. I've got to feed my kids. If you don't hire help, because God forbid you feed your children, but you're so ugly, I don't trust your cooking. So she's still trying to be friends with Mel. She's like, I don't know what I did. I don't know what the issue is. 
And Marceau's like, stop fucking with her. She just doesn't like you. She said, I just want the meanness to stop. I'm okay with us not having a relationship. No, you're not, because if you want to stop being mean, you, if you hadn't showed up with her shit, nothing would have happened. Oh, God. Scallop had gone punish Martel by not having a fifth baby because of the bullshit. Honey, you got to let it go. I was actually enjoying you not whine every 15 seconds. All this, I want to see action. I want to see action. Okay, but you've got you've to wait. You've got to wait to see the action. You have to be patient. You've got to let some years pass. And whining about it every day is not going to help. So Scallop had said, I'm sick of Kimmy always trying to play mediator between me and trifling Tisha. Oh, Lord. Martel says, yeah, Kimmy checked me the other day. And I was like, girl, you was a side chick because it was before Maurice was divorced. So now we got trifling Tish and her meddling mama who always outdresses her. Tish, how y'all on a reality show when y'all are doing worse? How are you downsizing to an investment property? You're on your second season. You should be, you know, getting something bigger while you're raising your kids. That's ass backwards. So teacher, tell her mama that how Scallop had tossed her out. And she says you should have slapped her. But you see, you raised a mealy mouth heifer, so she never will. And the mama like, well, I got an issue with Kimmy's ass, too. Because she always chiming in with the mess with Mel. Meanwhile, across town, Destiny drops by Scallop's head for lunch. And she whining that her husband don't help out around the house. All right, we got Tish practicing for her little speech. Those must be some weak women if they think she can empower them. I thought you were getting some speech therapy last season. You still sound just as uneducated and mealy-mouthed. Oh, God, Marceau's still whining that he got to actually spend time with his family. Child, just divorce him and move on. So Marceau's complaining that you make it seem like you were just, you know, a scullery maid as a stay-at-home mom. Well, she was. She said, well, I had to hang out with them babies while you got to hang out with your friends. She's like, I got to find a babysitter because you always bitching and moaning about taking taking care of your own kids. So he ain't going to go to her little event. Well, that was the shit. All three episodes. Ooh, that was agony.